So I'm struck when you talk about uh, Republicans as they. I know you insist, despite voting for President Obama twice, now that you're still a Republican. But as, as I go through your record on some social issues and even foreign policy issues, I challenge you a little bit to say, on what basis are you still a Republican? Do you feel like this Republican Party has left you, or have you left it? I think the Republican Party right now is having an identity problem. And I'm still a Republican. I'm a Republican who grew up along with George Bush, 41. I grew up with Ronald Reagan. Cap Weinberger, Frank Carlucci, that Republican Party, the Republican Party of Dick Luger and John Tower. But in recent years, there's been a significant shift to the right, and we have seen what that shift has produced, two losing presidential campaigns. I think what the Republican Party needs to do now is take a very hard look at itself and understand that the country has changed. The country is changing demographically. And if the Republican Party does not change along with that demographic, they're going to be in trouble. And so when we see that in one more generation, the minorities of America, African Americans, uh, Hispanic Americans, and Asian Americans will be the majority of the country, you can't go around saying, we don't want to have a solid immigration policy. We're going to dismiss the 47%. We are going to make it hard for these minorities to vote as they did in the last election. What did that produce? The court struck most of that down. Most importantly, it caused people to turn out and stand in line because these Republicans are trying to keep us from voting. There's also a dark, a dark vein of intolerance in some parts of the party. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is they still sort of look down on minorities. How can I evidence that? When I see a former governor say that the president is shucking and jiving, that's a racial era slave term. When I see another former governor after the president's first debate where he didn't do very well, says that the president was lazy, he didn't say he was slow, he was tired, he didn't do well. He said he was lazy. Now, it may not mean anything to most Americans, but to those of us who are African Americans, the second word is shiftless, and then there's a third word that goes along with it. Birther, the whole birther movement. Why do senior Republican leaders tolerate this kind of discussion within the party? I think the party has to take a look at itself. It has to take a look at its responsibilities for health care. It has to take a look at immigration. It has to take a look at those less fortunate than us. The party has gathered unto itself a reputation that it is the party of the rich. It is the party of lower taxes. But there are a lot of people who are lower down the food chain, the economic chain, who are also paying lots of taxes relative to their income. And they need help. We need more education work being done in this country. We need a solid immigration policy. We have to look at climate change. There are a lot of things that the American people are expecting. And the Republican Party, as they get ready for the next election, really has to focus on some of these issues and not ignore them. Everybody wants to talk about who's going to be the candidate. You better think first about what's the party you're actually going to represent. If it's just going to represent the far right wing of the political spectrum, I think the party is in difficulty. I'm a moderate. I'm still a Republican. That's how I was raised. And until I voted for Mr. Obama twice, I had voted for seven straight Republican presidents. A couple of other foreign policy matters.